Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Police inspector found dead on his birthday. A police inspector assigned to the St. Catherine Enhanced Security Measures Division was found dead at home on Tuesday morning. Today was reportedly the lawman's birthday. Reports are that the body of Enroy was found in his car at his White Water Meadows home in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. His firearm was found at the scene. He was reported the found with a single gunshot wound to the head. Investigations are ongoing. Beware of WhatsApp scammers, JPS warns. The Jamaica Public Service Company, JPS, is warning members of the public to beware of a fraudulent message being circulated online and on WhatsApp where $30,000 is promised to individuals who click a link provided. This message is not from JPS and is a scam. The company is not sending any message via WhatsApp or social spaces promising monies for clicking through links the company said in a release. JPS is also advising its customers to check with the company for confirmation of any promotions being held or visit their social media pages for information. Two killed in motorcycle crash in Westmoreland Two people are dead as a result of injuries they sustained in a motorcycle crash on Baywood, Little London in Westmoreland on Tuesday. The deceased have been identified as 27-year-old Amifika Spence, a mason from New Hope in Little London, and Kimani Cornish, who is believed to be a teenager of the same address. According to sources, Spence and Cornish were traveling on the motorcycle about 1 a.m. when it collided with the back of a white Ford truck. Both men were flung from the bike and died on the spot. The bike was found smashed to pieces in a nearby ravine. Man on bike gone down on Walton Park Road A man on a bicycle was shot in the head along Walton Park Road in St. Andrew. He has been identified as Carlos, who was of a Berwick Road Kingston 13 address. He died on the spot. The roadway was cornered off by the police and traffic diverted. Fire at Riverton City Dump Plumes of smoke were billowing from the Riverton Dump in St. Andrew as a fire rages at the eastern side of the disposal site. Executive Director of the National Solid Waste Management Authority NSWMA Ardle Garden says themes have been activated. I understand that the fire started on the tipping phase. However, we are currently experiencing very strong wind at the disposal site, which could cause the fire to spread rapidly, Garden said. We have cover material and heavy-duty equipment. The fire brigade has been called, he added. Upset contract workers protest at hospital. Upset manpower and maintenance services limited workers, assigned at the Spanish Town Hospital in St. Catherine, mounted a protest at the facility. They have accused the company of unfair treatment. According to them, the company's contract with the hospital is con coming to an end and as a result their employment is being terminated come July 31st. A July 4th letter addressed to the workers, which was shown to reporters, indicated that their job is being terminated in keeping with a clause in the contract. It was cited that the company reversed the right to end the contract if its engagement with a client at the location where the worker is assigned comes to an end. Workers claim that they were told that their termination payments and other sums will not be paid until September. They argue that the wait is too long given that they have expenses to take care of. They are demanding that the payments be made sooner. Efforts to speak with the company's management were unsuccessful. A supervisor told reporters that the company has no comment at this time, noting that personnel were locked in a meeting with the hospital and the new entity that is expected to take over the contract. JFF hates reggae girls. The Jamaica Football Federation JFF has hailed the national senior women's team after their qualification to a second consecutive FIFA Women's World Cup. The reggae girls book a spot in the tournament when they defeated Haiti 4 0 in their final Group A match of the CONCACAF Women's Championship in Mexico on Monday night. Their creation of history once again has been due to their unquestionable strength of purpose, character, determination, unity, and patriotism. We comment and lift them up to Jamaica as a living example of what is possible, even when tremendous challenges abound, the JFF said in a release on Tuesday. The JFF thanks and congratulates the entire technical staff, led by head coach Lauren Donaldson, who had been the team together less than three weeks before the start of the tournament, the JFF added. The JFF also thanked the Bob Marley Foundation, 
the Rekha Girls Foundation and the Ministry of Sport for their support. We wish the team further success in their remaining games, beginning with the semi-final fixture against Canada on Thursday the 14th, the JFF stated. Confronting Crisis Prime Minister Andrew Holness and the Reverend Astro Carlite both admitted on Sunday that Jamaica is facing a major challenge to address the mirrored problems facing its people. The two were addressing a worship service at the Webster Memorial United Church in St. Andrew, which was used to celebrate the 79th anniversary of the Jamaica Labour Party JLP that Holness now leads. In his address, Holness stressed that there are several crises which has impacted the physical and mental health of Jamaicans since the formation of the JLP. 79 years later, we gather here again in a time of global crisis. Whether it is crisis in our climate, a crisis of war, a geopolitics, or a crisis of pandemic, they have all had an impact on us externally. They have created shocks for us. We didn't create them, but we are impacted by them, and they exuberate. They make worse the crisis that we create locally among ourselves and others. So there is no question that, for many, the last two years wouldn't have affected their mental health, said Wholeness. We are struggling to make sense of what is happening around us when you see the news, which these days is more often than not bad news, extreme, outlandish, strange. It challenges our outlook on things. The world as we know it is no longer certain, and our outlook has become increasingly pessimistic, added Wholeness. The fourth leader of the JLP Wholeness said the sudden changes in the mood and outlook affect social behavior as people try to make sense of the world and are looking for certainty. He said sometimes people end up in deviant and antisocial behavior. They are seeking meaning. They end up being guided by mischief makers, perverse of falsehood, false prophet. They end up being misdirected. But the uncertainty does not only threaten our social behavior, but it threatens our economic behavior as well. When people are pessimistic about the future, they don't take long-term decisions about investments. They instead start to look for immediate gratification and therefore the sacrifice for sin to build up capital is affected. And that is a precursor of a recession, argued wholeness. In the meantime, Carlite linked the Bible scripture St. John 4, which points to a well built by Jacob, the benefit of generations, to issues that need to be immediately addressed by using state resources to secure a better future for the country. According to the Reverend, those in the business of national development, social transformation and spiritual direction are being called to build for the ages. The will was and needs fulfilling place. What do you get from a well? Water. Nothing lives without water. Water is the most basic and most needed resource for existence. And when Jacob was organized his resources in a way to ensure that the people of the land could access that which was sustainable for life, stated the Reverend. I wonder if this could be a challenge to the church, as one of the institutions that still benefit from the regard of the citizenry. We position ourselves as the go-between agencies of government and communities to ensure that well-needed resources are properly channeled to the people there, he continued. Could this be a challenge for us to leave the hollowed halls of the comfort and really get our hands dirty in the realities of people's lives in the trenches, connect with misguided, unattached youths who have been targeted for gangs? Further, Reverend Carlite said he wondered if the partisan report, the Reform of Education in Jamaica 2021 report, done by a committee led by Professor Orlando Patterson, could be brought to life, and leaders offered their skills and time to partner with stakeholders in the Ministry of Education and Youth to ensure that the water of learning flows into the taps of children's life as heavily in Tivoli Gardens High School as they do in Immaculate Conception High School. Could this be a challenge to the ruling Jamaica Labour Party to dig deeper into the youth's ability? To meet the groans of our nation workers, such as nurses and teachers, who are breaking under the load of highly taxed economy? Civil servants, who must work miracles, deal with meagre resources when it seems as if in other quarters ample amount of resources go missing? Carlite argued that Jamaicans have faith in the Prime Minister in using the resources necessary to solve the current issues in the country. Yours is a significant weight of thrust for we who struggle to make ends meet are waiting to see if you will dig that well that will bring us relief from these unfair bank charges. Yours is a significant weight of thrust for we who struggle to secure our homes and our families from hoodlums 
were waiting to see how serious you are in the digging of a well that would bring us relief from the rampant criminality and the corruption that exists, the Reverend said, to pause for the congregation. I know that it is a heavy load, Prime Minister, but yours is a significant weight of thrust because, like Jacob, you have the resources that we don't have, and we trust that your effort will match your resources, declared Carlyle. Earlier, Holness had also turned to the Bible as he referred to Jeremiah 29 verse 11. According to Holness, Jamaicans need to repeat this scripture every day as we go through difficult times. The plan for the children of God in Jamaica is to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. And this is our wish, our prayer as we gather here in the tabernacle asking for God's grace, God's guidance, God's protection, God's endowment of wisdom, as we hold our hands steadily on the ship of state, going through very difficult water and strong headwinds, but we still, as we have done in the past, steer the ship of state into a safer harbor. In celebration of the JLP's 79th anniversary, Holness announced that five scholarships would be offered to youngsters in honor of those who have served the party. The five scholarships will be in the years of transformation or data science, criminology, journalism or languages, urban planning, and law or legal drafting. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.